see if uh, what we did pays off. What's up YouTube? Well today we are going to try to tackle the situation with my truck. Basically when I lay it out if the front drops way faster than the back and uh, obviously that's because it's, it's pretty heavy or way heavier in the front. So what I did was I ordered these flow control valves to hopefully solve the situation. <clears throat> now I did I found a guy on eBay that had them. He had three of them. So I just ordered all three. So, but uh, I'm only gonna use two. So I need one for each side of the front. So I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna put them. I'm thinking I might put them over here on the side, like right here where it's easy to get to. But I'm not sure. And I did pick up some airline DOT, of course. And, uh, it's actually airlift just like 10 feet of it but um just in case I needed it so I'm getting text but uh, anyway so let's uh let's take a take a look and see how it looks before and uh, hopefully after we'll take another shot of it of uh, what it looks like when it lays out properly hopefully so let's go got truck backed up let's take a look down here got some stands on it hey grab me one of those yellow rags over there No download profile. If I have to cut it, put it right here. Cooper, don't start, Cooper. Get out of here. Don't be fucking growling. Oh, Hardy's over here having a good old time, and look at you too. My dogs, man, I swear. All right, so let's make sure we line this the right way. Towards, so I want to do it this way. So it opens up both and restricts. Yep. Okay. <laughs> That's almost perfect right there. See it? Oh, we mount it right there. This one. 
see if uh, what we did pays off. truck just turned off because it was auto started but anyway so I should have ended up getting four but I just I ended up getting three because the guy only had three but I'm probably gonna get another one and uh, put them on the back so it'll rise evenly and uh, dump evenly or lay evenly however you want to say it but that's it man piece of cake I actually got three of these from a guy on eBay I want to say they were like $30 or $40 a piece brand new, but I got all three for, I think, $30. So, you know, but of course, your mileage may vary on that. So, but I'm going to have to get another one. But that'll be for another video. And uh, maybe I'll do the one where, like I said, to uh, slow down the rise on the back and uh, get everything even. But that was pretty simple. Doing it right here is actually made it really, really simple. Once I get the back one, I may you know cut some of this line and maybe put them up here and have them sticking out the back or something I don't know we'll see but for function this works and I check for leaks no leaks and uh, these are Parker brand so you know they're not like a little cheap just no name brand or whatever so hopefully these hold up anyways let's uh, finish this video alright for those of you who are not sure how I did this or what this is. This is what I used. And this is a flow control valve. But I just wanted to get a close up of uh, basically how this works. So this is a 3 8 in, 3 8 out. And right here at the top, you can even see this little schematic right here. So basically what this is telling you is you got the line coming in. And then up here at the top, there's a flow control. And then down here at the bottom, you have a check valve. Okay. So when the air is flowing this way, it basically pushes this ball bearing, what it shows here, and it blocks the uh, air from moving this way. And it only allows air going through this orifice where it's controlled by this valve, by this adjustment screw. Now, when air flows this way, what it does is it pushes this bearing, pushes it out of the way, and it allows air to flow this through here and through this top one here allowing full flow see and then so it doesn't matter where this is adjusted it allows full flow through this way okay so that's the concept anyways if it's exactly full flow whatever but it's it's definitely uh you know it's it's a much greater flow i would say going this way then going this way. But that's what this schematic is says. So 
So when you regulate it and on this, all you do is you just loosen this screw here and then you just adjust this. So being all the way in will reduce, will restrict flow completely. And then just screwing it out. It has a huge level of adjustment. You know, basically towards full flow, completely full flow. So I ended up going on my setup, like, I don't know, it was about 10 turns, something like that. It was quite a bit, um, but I did it even on each side. And if I had to make minor adjustments from side to side, hey, no big deal, especially where I mounted them. But so anyway, so I just want to throw this in there at the end. That's the concept of it. So one way restricted flow adjusted by this knob here and the other way full flow so that's it that's how you get it done that's how you get your truck to uh to lay uh down evenly anyways hope this uh helps somebody out there signing off peace